Mmm, a disturbance in the stew, I feel. New Jedi listeners, strong they are. Subscribe they must. Yes? Hello there. Incoming transmission. You will go to the Dagobah system. There you will learn from Yoda. Master of the stew. A Jedi strength flows from the stew. Mm. There'll be no one to stop us this time. Strong is the stew. <laughs> Yoda, you see Yoda. Hello there and welcome to Yoda Stew, the strongest stew in the galaxy. A Jedi's strength flows from the stew. This is your dedicated spot for all things Star Wars. I'm your host, Ezra, here to guide you through the latest Star Wars news, insights, and discussion from a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Well, friends, uh, the finale is, it's here. It's come, it's gone, it's passed. We've, we've seen it. We've all been waiting for it. <laughs> we've all been waiting for it, okay? Um, wowzers. So, welcome on in uh, to the stew, right? Uh, literally, by the way, well, spoilers. Go ahead and spoil it for everybody right now. We're not even doing a non-spoiler review. Believe. Full spoilers. <laughs> you just said that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Like, Like, did you see at the end of the episode, did you see him? He's he's there. He's eating a bowl of stew. Right. Let the let the man eat in peace. Yeah. Vanestra, we, y- let him eat his, his Yoda stew in peace. Okay. <laughs> My gosh. Do you think that's what he eats at the at Coruscant on Coruscant? I actually at believe that Yoda temple? has a secret ancient recipe he's been Thanks. perfecting for over eight hundred years, and he's been dishing it out like he's actually <laughs> in between practice sessions. He's down there fixing the stew <laughs> and passing it out to young Padawans. You know. Um. Anyway. But, uh, well, okay, so, uh, seriously, here we go. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was the finale. And um, we here's what we do. We get off the couch. We come over here to the microphones. We sit down and we talk about this show. And I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm kind mm-hmm. of at a little bit of a loss for words. Yeah. So the feeling, we're rooting for the bad guy here, friends. <laughs> and it's just not what I do do it's like lady gaga said a bad romance a bad romance this is a, it was yeah this is a bad romance this is um just bad romance <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i mean it's really it's bad um, uh well okay what do you think what are your thoughts how do you how, how do you feel we'll talk about some interesting cool things in this but um yeah in general i think you guys are getting picking up on my my tone here i i don't know it's my initial reaction to Mm -hmm. just getting off the couch and seeing it i'm not feeling great but how are you feeling it's hard to feel anything really like it's hard to make those emotional connections because yeah like you said some some of the things are just so strange yeah still little explanations for for how they were created i mean yep Yep. we already spoiled the big thing so yeah there is no resolution for me yeah like not the feeling i want to have when uh when you finish the finale i mean yeah Yeah. people would argue okay you want to feel if there is another season you want to feel like oh okay what's gonna i can't wait like sometimes they want you to feel no closure or have no closure right cliffhanger leave us leave us hanging right you need to be curious for the next one but uh, yeah that's not what happened here yeah i mean essentially like i understand now what the creator was saying in terms of like okay this has all been designed in a way that is nice and neat tied up finished i guess but Mm -hmm. for me it's it's not i actually said i said to you when we first finished it and before we popped on here for like two seconds i said so the jedi so the jedi know right so the jedi know about the (laughs) sith right and and you were like you basically like well, the Senate knows. <laughs> so, like, the Senate knows, too, right? I mean, so, basically, not only does the Senate know, but, like, the Jedi know. Like, it feels like a lot of people know. Now, for to clarify that, um, mm-hmm. it seems like the Senate were told Master right. Soul went rogue. Right. Okay? So, he's he's a bad boy. All right? Master Soul, you're a bad boy. All right? And um, it, he, he messed up. It feels like in this whole, like, it's all awful. the Jedi we've seen so far, like, the bigger characters yeah they have 
kind of taught their apprentices and their colleagues this is what we do we don't like they don't tell yeah. the truth they tell they bend the truth to their they lie they lie right the craziest thing for me That's and what, i what's think her name? Uh, i'm she... so surprised i guess by this because i did not expect the jedi to be this um you know and people say well obi-wan lied right from a certain point of view and he was protecting luke so i gotta oh, bring that up right yeah. so it's just like you know he's he says that darth vader killed uh luke's father right for for example to try to spare him and then right, yoda right. uh someone brought this up then yoda basically says that you know he's trying to force luke to face vader and 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 to kill him well right? but it's not like obi-wan kill, killed him right no 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 it's it's well well tried to you know <laughs> yeah tried to um okay <laughs> yeah but it's it's like they're not telling him the full truth there and yeah. they're, they're kind of using luke and so mm -hmm. you go back to this and you're like okay so the jedi just lie yeah i mean basically what we what we're finding out is they all lie mm -hmm. not even just like master soul he we think in that uh big reveal where you learn what's kind of mm -hmm. going down on brendock <clears throat> that they're going to do the right thing and tell the council or some version of the story like um you know and dara is gonna is gonna hold up a high standard and no she tells him to right and they lie. actually all go on with the lie like uh mm -hmm. torben does kalnaka i mean it's mm -hmm. just it's it's crazy um i don't know they all four come together and make a terrible decision which is okay sure mm -hmm. they, they i all right and then in the person who is now accusing them of making a terrible decision Ver vernestra uh, is also lying yeah to people right and she's lying to the senators completely flat out lying to them she herself had a a sith apprentice i mean you right. know she has she basically Chimir is her apprentice. Right. He is a Sith. Yeah. The Jedi know about the Sith. <laughs> and Lottie's like, it looks like yeah. the Senate probably knows because, yeah. and you might say, well, how can, no, no, the Senate doesn't know that they knew, but they have some sort they have of information. Intel, yeah. Right. They have Intel. They already knew yeah. that the Jedi were hiding things from yeah. them. Correct. Yeah. So it's like, okay, clearly like the Senate knows it's not a big secret anymore that the yeah. Sith are out there and it does, it it really is hard to um I don't know. And then now at the end we see her going and talking to Yoda. Well, yeah, now Yoda's it feels been like, informed. Now it feels like the scene everybody talks about in um Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace yeah. is just a farce. Like it's just a lie. Because it feels maybe Kiari Mani lied and Yoda's like I mean, really, actually, that you're kind of so basically by yeah. the Jedi lying here and by them lying to each other and lying to the Senate and then telling yoda the truth then basically you get into a situation where again yoda does not tell the truth to qui-gon mm -hmm. he doesn't contradict kiati mundi and kiati mundi flat out lied then yeah. apparently but, i mean he's he's in on this whole idea that uh i mean what do the other jedi think so they all see master soul there and they think he killed himself Right, they all were there. There was like twenty they Jedi. All were there. Did did Vanestra basically Seeing Master Soul? I don't know. Maybe she did the mind trick that Chimir could do with me. Yeah. That's well, and weird. then I know she burns his body, right? So so right there, she burns his yeah. body and doesn't allow him to come back for yeah, any. Yeah, but what does she tell the other Jedi? We're just left to guess. There's no resolution for it. There's no good explanation. It's just right. like okay, try to figure it out yourself. And why did he come here to kill himself? You know, like why did yeah, that no why would that even make that. sense yeah. to to all of them, right? Um, he was silencing his colleagues, is what she says. Like he was going around and trying to kill basically, you know, Indara, Kelnaka, and yeah. others, um, which is interesting because which weird is that okay, he's not even on the planet where Indara is, right? He's not there. He does show up to see Torben. So he mm -hmm. does show up to on Torben's planet and he is yeah. there with Kalnaka, but Master and Dara is right. just killed. Yeah. They, they actually are all here's and there's a bunch of witnesses. There's a bunch of witnesses. I who, mean, the whole pub or yeah, they witnessed that this all witness so, what happened. That someone named May, and they're all like actually talking about the like Kiani yeah. Mundi is actually they're reviewing the footage yeah. of this acolyte who is attempting to who does kill someone else and then so i guess what she told the senate is is different than what she's telling the jedi right probably but is she telling all the jedi that is this like a big dirty jedi <laughs> secret or something i don't know it's just kind of hard to believe i mean it could be you know it's it, it, it could be but it just seems like okay you guys can't keep secrets from the senate the senate has some intel 
and yeah. they're figuring out that there's also this review going on. People are going to get interviewed and it just makes them all seem like liars. And it seems yeah. like Yoda and Mace and Kiati during episode one would basically lie to Qui-Gon Jinn and, and say, yeah. you know what, Qui-Gon, sorry, man, there's there's no we don't have anything historically within the past 100 years that would back up what you're saying. Yeah. And you're like, actually, you do. Everyone does. Everyone yeah. knows about it. Yeah. I mean, they all know that that there was like this attack. And I see how they're trying to kind of cover the tracks here. And basically, like, yeah. Vanestra is burying the story with the Senate, but not with but the Jedi. leaves us with so many questions. And Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it's strange. <sighs> um, but Darth Plagueis. Yeah, let's pedal back a little bit. And Darth talk Plagueis about is there, his okay? Face. <laughs> his yeah, uh, creepy guy there, and um, that is probably the planet Beldemnik, which is where they have mm -hmm. all the Cortosis uh, mining. It's a, something out of the Plagueis novel where he and okay. Master Tenebris get together, and they're there. But but that was him. That was Darth Plagueis. Does and, that mean though? Yeah, yeah. You said that was him, and we still don't know who Chimera is though. So or does that give us a hint? Basically, this is saying um, that Pl this, this would be one of Plagueis's uh, apprentices yeah. before he gets to Palpatine, okay? If you will, okay. But so, he has no name. We don't know much about that. No, uh, okay. um, right? There's, there's not much. No, no, no. And exactly, they're they're unnamed, and so this is just one of those okay. individuals who just happens to be someone that is. Um, you know, Plagueis is in the shadows, completely in the shadows, and his apprentice is out doing all this different stuff. His apprentice yeah. is now recruiting an acolyte. So we have an acolyte, yeah. which is Osha now. And so the apprentice is training their own acolyte, mm -hmm. right, to maybe be powerful enough to overthrow Plagueis. Well, right. they don't. Um, Plagueis is going to end up probably killing both of them. Okay. Yeah. That's probably what's going to happen because Plagueis gets a new apprentice called Darth Sidious, uh, which is Emperor Palpatine later on, right? Right. So he will he will stick around the whole time. He will kind of he's old, he's ancient. And basically what they're kind of implying here is that he's he's Darth Plagueis the wise. He's wise. Yeah. And <laughs> he's he's got he's recruited Chimere um, right. to be his apprentice away from Vernestra. Vernestra mm -hmm. is also very old. Um, mm -hmm. But it also so not only do the Jedi have some idea or evidence or inkling, I guess, that there is this um, that there is a Sith. Yeah connection here or that the sith do exist you have that going back as far as vanestra losing her apprentice yeah because her apprentice is now so we thought it was just here mm. and it actually even predates this like she kind of had an idea about it she thought he was dead yeah and until this episode she's like oh my god he's alive yeah right um but she knew he went dark and he went rogue one mm -hmm. of her pupils and she wants to like hunt him down now right uh yeah but it's interesting my biggest problems were a how they explain how Soul attempted to explain what May and Osha are that they're not twins, they're not even sisters, they're the same person but like in two bodies. Yeah. But then he just says, "I don't know really how they did it, but I needed May to otherwise I wouldn't have any evidence. Like there wouldn't be a way to explain what happened and why I killed her." There's no real explanation. He never really explained why he actually killed her. Yeah. That's one of my biggest problems. <clears throat> yeah, it was an like, accident. Why, it was he, a mistake. The whole, right, the whole time he says, I did the right thing. I would almost like I would do it again. Right. I did the right thing. I thought you I were had in to danger. protect you. I was trying to protect you. Um, I needed both of you. Yeah. Uh, but that isn't also. It's make almost like sense. I re I regret so much that I couldn't save both of you. It didn't um, seem like that when he was there. He just he was well, like, I feel a connection to Osha, and I because, want her to be my padawan. Well, because he just needed May to explain what happened. So what I guess his grand plan there was we get Osha, we go back to the Jedi, and I, I say, hey, look, there is proof that this girl also has a twin who is not a twin, right? not even her sister. It's actually the same person. So this person we have here, Osha, she exists somewhere else, too, in a yeah. different body. And I can prove it to you guys. We just need to go there and confront all these witches. Yeah. Would they would they have gone? I mean, but now but now he's basically saying, oh, I can't go there because they all were killed and destroyed. And there was no way to to prove that to. So it doesn't make sense because that's yeah. a lie, too, because basically they they wanted to. The whole reason was they wanted to protect Osha. It yeah. wasn't that he didn't have any proof. Right. It doesn't feel like it. it feels I'm going to watch it again. Yeah. I'm going to watch it again. Um just yeah. to kind of figure out what 
what happened there. And that's that's part of the you know one of the issues we have is we we're just doing an, an, an initial reaction, uh, hot off the hot off the couch and talking to you guys about it. And it just yeah. is a little hard to follow. You know, it was kind of I think where I totally lost it in the episode was like when May all of a sudden who was very yeah. dark and yeah. very uh always angry and had all these different things consumed by that consumed by it all the of a sudden of revenge and, flips yeah. flips and says you know take my sister wipe my memory like that whole scene was like it was so corny weird and and cheesy and just uh i oh, hate show, to say that oh, i'm sorry i'm want. not even trying to be kind of uh i don't know i was really rooting for something yeah i don't know it, it just felt maybe forced maybe it's supposed to tell us or show us how you as a person can have like a change of heart you know, like you don't know where you want. You go in two directions. You're not sure which one is the right way. And yeah. you're just torn between two ways. And that's they symbolize that in two different bodies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe that's what the, I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to pull something out of here. But it's the second thing that I really didn't like was how Osha just said she knew her sister killed three Jedi and mm -hmm. said, OK, we're going to leave you here with the Jedi who will find you. We're going to mm -hmm. wipe your memory also, where does that power come from? You can wipe, like, what? How old are they? 16 or something? Yeah. Eight years of memory. Right. So, I don't know. Maybe I don't know yeah, enough about it. 16, Maybe that is yeah. something they can do. But he's just like, oh, yeah, I have this cool power. Oh, that power can... was crazy. First yeah, of all, yeah, no. <laughs> the Sith powers like in this were. Obliviate spell. Yeah, ob obliviate. And it's just <laughs> done. Uh, Chimer can teleport, apparently. That was, too. That he, he can teleport. He can completely wipe uh, the memories of those individuals. Um, and, you know, again, May was allowing it to happen, which is yeah. which is maybe why it's more easy uh, to do. But it was just, it was hard to believe. It was kind of, mm -hmm. and that's what I think is 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 tough about it. Like yeah. when I watch the originals and when I watch the prequels, it's kind of easy to believe. For me, yeah. anyways, and maybe it's just because I've seen it so much, and I bet you maybe over time we'll watch this more and more and more. We'll study it more because it's part of lore now. It is what it is. I know yeah. people don't like to say that, but I people who hate on the show, anyways, that is. Um, and I definitely don't hate on the show. I, I no. really, I really don't. I actually think that not to that extent. No, not it wasn't. No, it's not. It's terrible. It's, yeah, but I it's mean, not great. It's like no. when I go back, I think I was talking, I was telling you this the other day. I'm like, I'm really into, I loved Rogue One. I loved Solo. Yeah. I mean, I love the, I love personally the Obi Wan Kenobi series. And a lot of people didn't like that. Now yeah. I'm a little biased because I just like those actors and I thought yeah. it was great. And I, I was happy to see them back on screen. It wasn't mm -hmm. the best story they probably could have told, but it was still, it was still good and it was still, um, you know, worthy. Uh, but and I'm, I'm in a minority there, to be honest with you. A lot of people yeah. don't like the Obi Wan Kenobi um, series. But that's okay. I and to each their own, right? And it, when it comes to this, I kind of feel bad because, like, on the start of this channel on Yoda Stew, I've done, yeah. you know, I've, I've done multiple other podcasts and different things where we've covered the Ahsoka series, where we've covered right. <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi, and we've covered those things that were like, man, I really enjoy this. Very and, excited, very positive. Yeah. And this time it's hard to find the positive, you know. And, and I try. It's because it's the nature of the show. We're watching yeah. the dark siders literally True. turn this they girl into. Uh, and it's just a weird romance. I was like, are they gonna make Sith babies? Is that like <laughs> gonna happen? I mean, it seemed like it there at the end. It just, they, yeah, could I, be. I, I yeah. They, um, I told you right before they started holding hands. I was like, are they gonna hold hands or? And they sure as heck did. They watched sure the heck sunset did. together. And, um, but yeah, you know, trying to find something positive. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't love the lightsaber fights, I do acknowledge that they tried to do some cool stuff that was more yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Easter Asian yes yes fighting yes, yes. style slow motion right when they did like the floating sort of and they were they're, they're I mean, jumping around and yeah, yeah that was cool that's 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 okay that's and I think fun, it's but... yeah that was fun um I think the one of the cooler things was the bleeding of the kyber crystal which some yeah. people might not like but I I thought it was cool to for, to see that for live once. yeah how live, that happens right and to see her mm -hmm. pour her anger into it and to see it mm -hmm. ignite that was a cool moment um but it, it, the problem with it was just that, like, it it's such an abrupt turn for Osha, yeah. and it's just <laughs> there's no time to explain anything. And I get that. No, you yeah, need but that. They have um, two seconds together. They finally found each other, and they know the truth. Yeah, and they reconnect it. Right. And then Osha's like, "Yeah, but I want this now." And she, I mean, May, the whole time she was working towards being his acolyte. She was the acolyte, actually. Right. Right. And now she's like, "Okay, just." 
yeah White let's memory. let's exchange places like please don't kill her but it's like couldn't they together they didn't they just sort of prove if that they're they one the person power? then it's still one person right it's not i don't you know. don't break the rule I, yeah right i don't it's know one they're, apprentice they're one yeah they're they're one person so <laughs> i don't know why but well i guess also may kind of turned against chimera at yeah. one point so may's out and he can't trust her anymore but osha has this new chance and so he can take osha in but then like from and, osha's perspective leave your sister with no memory with the jedi who well it's just a willingness to be yeah, br- like yeah, to, who are I mean, proven to be lying, and they're after her, and she's uh, killed right. them, and she's on their on their hit list, sort of. Well, you know, arrest uh, yeah. war- warrant list. Um, but I guess it's just the abruptness the abruptness of which she yeah. turns that she switches sides. May does, and then Osha. It's just yeah. sort of like this real quick switch, and it we didn't have a whole lot of time to process it. And, and you're you're sitting there, and Osha in the beginning is like the Jedi are good, and then now yeah. she's like, I want to be a Sith. Train me. <laughs> it's like yeah. what uh this he can give you the thing that soul never did right and because yeah. soul soul is where all, basically you're it's his failure it's soul's failure and that's why yeah. you weren't able to become a jedi yeah so turn to the sith i mean it just and, and when they're hugging under the tree it's almost like we're supposed to be like really rooting for her and feeling for her and being like yes yeah. please go with the sith and it just <laughs> didn't feel good it yeah. just didn't feel right to me i don't even know how to explain it i'm just Call me what I am. I'm a, I'm just an old fashioned uh, love the Jedi, believe in the Jedi, <laughs> and I yeah. It just seems like the lies are out of control. It yeah. just seems like it's it's a lot to kind of accept and handle. And coming out of this, the only character that you really it's really Chimer and and Osha that you've spent the most time with, and that mm-hmm. you've got to kind of root for. You can't right. really root for Soul. Um, he's a tragic character and all of his, yeah. you know, colleagues are dead. Uh, Vanestra is, is also, I, I'm out. Yeah. I, she, you can, you're not rooting for these characters. I, I, yeah. I can't root for any of them. You know what I mean? And then in rooting for Osha, it's like, what am I rooting for her to join the Sith? Like how awful I don't that know. she it's told just, everybody, sorry to, yeah, you know, soul did t- definitely did a terrible thing. But the way she made him look like he was the rogue Jedi and yeah. killed all his, um, College, you know, all the yeah. other Jedis. And mm-hmm. I don't know. I just don't, didn't like it. Yeah. The way she respected him, but then used him too. just mm-hmm. his memory. Yeah. To well, it, it's yeah, it's uh, oh, yeah. Vanessa. Yeah, no. It was, yeah. It Vanessa. Was, sorry. It was awful. I mean, yeah, that that I don't know, guys. I mean. I'm struggling to come up with something good to say about it. That's that's yeah. the problem is that like I don't really know what to do. I I, I I there is a full circle moment where May starts off trying to kill Jedi without a weapon. Right. And then Osha does do that. She does yeah. the force choke, the Darth Vader force yeah. choke and literally kills somebody um, with yeah. it. She kills her former master. Uh, so and somebody that. says they can't figure out or find out how powerful you actually are as if. Yeah. Like, why did she then get kicked out? It's all suppressed. Because, it's like some yeah. some suppressed power that yeah. she has that that we just can't. Mm-hmm. Um, you kind of saw it with the deprivation helmet when she had it on. Mm-hmm. She was controlling Chimere for a second, so she has the power of her mother, and she's mm-hmm. she actually can. I missed that. What's What's weird is that like May can't do it, but she can. Yeah. It's weird that like May. I don't know. Like like why why doesn't if they're the same individual? I don't. I'm struggling with why May mm-hmm. doesn't have the same powers that Osha does. And is, is Osha yeah. just more emotional when she has more of the raw emotions and yeah. May has less of that or something? It's just... Also, know. would they... Had one of them died, would no. the other one live? I don't know. I Again, this is this is all the things that she... That, the, that Le- Leslie Headland has basically kind of said, like, well, there are still things that are left to be explained okay. in terms of their, con- their, their, their creation if we okay. ever want to go back to that in yeah. terms of a second season or what happened on Brendock and, and how, how they actually did what they did, you know? Yeah. So, how the other witches all died. No. Still yeah. No and I did, there is an article out there, I guess there's a, a big, I forget who did it, but um, it was the Nerdist or somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were going over all the different questions after okay. the last episode. And they kind of were talking about like what really happened when Indara was in the mind yeah. of Kelnaka and that she says it was an accident, but you're like Indara didn't know what would happen when she severed that connection. And yes, that Indara accidentally did kill all of them. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, 
Yeah. It just, I guess you, you, you get that, but what kind of power is that? Like, it just feels, it, it's strange because in the same article, when they ask her about like, they, she essentially said that the virgins in the force or the amplification of this planet seemed to empower the witches right. and gave them great power, but it didn't give the Jedi additional power. Yeah. And, or if it did, Maybe that's what happened to Indara. She pushed too far and she didn't mm -hmm. realize it because of the power on this planet and okay. accidentally killed them all. Maybe that is what happened. Um, but also then why wouldn't all of those individuals be more powerful against Indara? You know, why yeah. could they not? Why were they all interconnected like that? I guess, yeah. there, I guess there's just too many questions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that this show has too many questions. That are unanswered, but yeah, you don't want to just... leave that many questions unanswered. Like yeah. have something to read between the lines, but. Yeah, it's this raw kind of. It's really vague it's and murky, and it's some of the things. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, and sometimes it's cool, but sometimes it's too much. Yeah. And I think that's just it makes the watching experience like not as in, enjoyable. Again, there are moments that I loved. I love the yeah. Chimere fight, you know, with Jackie and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's such a tragic thing. I keep looking at the poster, and I'm thinking yeah. every single person on that poster is dead yep. except for Osha, Chimere, and Vernestra, and Vernestra. Yeah. yeah, and that's just tragic. I don't know what the sniffer was doing this whole episode. Man. Yeah. Like, I was trying to track his point of view and think like, what is he actually doing? Is yeah, he, what was he even doing when he, can he tell that soul is with yeah, soul's why is plan? He, right. Was he manipulated by May? I didn't, rem I couldn't remember from the last episode if she did something to, to the Basil, yeah. whatever his name is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I tell you one of the cringiest <laughs> moments too was, was when Mog tried to arrest them. And he came up to the bush. <laughs> I was like, dude, that is the least. I don't know. I just, I would have laughed. <laughs> Intimidated. I would just, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what are you here to do? Funny. I mean, it was kind of, he's kind of an interesting. Funny. And I want to say again, it wasn't really the acting that bothered me. Like, there was just mm -hmm. the, sorry, keep, people keep pointing it out. It's the story most of the time. Like, the conversations yeah. are sometimes, most of the time, I don't know. They're okay, but then, no one knows what's happening really but i, and I can i say i do enjoy you know the actors and and sure yeah you're not a um so in terms of the lore you're, mm -hmm. you're someone who's just coming into star wars and yeah. you're my padawan and we talk through stuff and i kind of explain things to you and i feel like throughout this show i've had to do a lot of and this is no offense to, to lottie or whatever mm -hmm. but i've had to explain a lot to you and i've had to like um We've had to talk about what is going on. And actually, a lot of things, when you ask questions, I'm like, I don't know either. Yeah. I have no idea how, how you know, Indara did that or if that actually right. did cause. Then I'm I'm a lore guy and I know Star Wars and I love Star yeah. Wars, but I'm also kind of like, there's a lot of confusion for me on this show. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, and a lot of it's just hard to believe. So that these characters are having, I don't know, just, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I wanted to do a better finale. I really wanted to come in here and say that this is this is um, amazing. I think the Plagueis thing was cool. I think that is mm -hmm. interesting that they're bring that we've seen Darth Plagueis and we've yeah. established that Chimere uh, is his apprentice. Cool. And then May or uh, excuse me, Osha will be mm -hmm. the acolyte uh, for that individual. And then going forward, it looks like we're going to have a story where Vanestra is going to track him down. Right. And possibly, does she die? Does she kill him? Do they both die? You know, people will then speculate like kind of what happens there to get to uh palpatine years oh, later well, so in years. the uh in the books you never get closure like how Vernestra because she's a legends character right or the book character yeah she's from the high republic series that's so not legends that's, that's canon. canon yeah it's canon but uh yeah mm -hmm. so, so you never get her story she's like very young she... in the in, in the in that series okay. so this is her grown up and she's very mm -hmm. old her species can live very mm -hmm. for a long time yeah um so we have her uh basically She's cool in, in, in the books. She feels a lot different, actually, yeah. uh, in, in the books than she does in this show. She, I don't know. People Something love changed her. her. Yeah, so, and it's the loss of her apprentice, I guess, and that's the story mm -hmm. that they're telling. But I think the character that people expected to see in this yeah. doesn't mesh with what we read in the books because right. she's so much more optimistic and just everyone looks up to her and reveres her and all this kind of stuff. And really, yeah. she's just giving marching orders around here. Yeah. No one's really talking about how, how much respect they have for Vanestra and what a great powerful master she is and all this kind of stuff it's just basically like she barks and they go yeah. you know and now you see she's just covering tracks and is I I guess waist deep in all this politics and everything yeah so you know man I hate to be like this I really hate to be kind of this 
critical or not not critical i mean well yeah i guess been kind of critical but like <laughs> I, you know I, I i don't know again it's just um it's the delivery some of it is just the delivery of mm -hmm. this and it's just the clunkiness of it um again moments that are great and cool i thought even this lightsaber fight between soul and chimera was cool there was yeah. moments that was pretty interesting it was it was cool and there were moments where it was like yeah. And I think the initial idea with like twins that first are one side and the other side and then switch is kind of cool. Like there's a lot you can do with that. Yeah. Like yeah. you said, it's the how it was done and not very well thought through until the very end. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Right. Let me yeah. let me. Yeah. Let me read this here. Mm -hmm. Um, This is I'm, I'm, I'm on my computer here just in front of front of me and the, the Jedi, the sniffers on him. So mm -hmm. Basil's got him. He's chittering and he's leading the Jedi uh to them which is great so the stranger says i can attempt to wipe her memory okay mm -hmm. so he's gonna attempt to wipe her memory i don't let me back up even further why doesn't she just go with him again like why doesn't may just go with him is it because she because he she, can't have both of them he can't have both of them or because he she betrayed chimere i guess you know what I'm saying? It seems like that's that she doesn't want to go with him anymore. Yeah. Right. So because she leads her out, she she leads. So it looks like they're going to escape mm -hmm. together. Ocean and May are out by the tree and she's like, this is where I came. I came, you know, soul thought I died, but I really got sucked into this vent and I came out here to the tree. Right. Um, And then Ocean's like, I'm sorry, I didn't believe you. Uh, And they hug it out and they're underneath this really cool tree. And it's it's a cool right. moment. I'm so She says, I'm sorry, I started the fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, big misunderstanding. Um, I think that's the other thing too is there's just so much misunderstanding in this. There's yeah, there's like they're forgiving each other for this childlike this, this misunderstanding that happened between them, yeah. and they're reconciling with this, even though there's been acts of evil committed, but they're victims of it because they're children, and so they've had to grow up through this, and soul's really to blame. It just it really feels bad because like soul mm -hmm. is just everything is being blamed on him yeah. absolutely yeah. everything yeah uh and it's tragic um let me see what else they kind of say here so they're crying uh they're underneath the tree this is leading into where chimere shows up here he's gonna pop out and uh you're with me i am with you okay and they're wondering who who taught us that rhyme that, right. that rhyme that they always say uh and osha's like i thought you made it up and then boom mm -hmm. here comes chimere he says, if I can find you, so can the Jedi. And he's rolling up to the tree there. And the Jedi are, are, are bearing down on him at the tree here. Um, I'm going to just try to understand this real quick before we end this episode here. What does he say here? He's talking to her. The first line will explain what Soul did is what she's saying mm -hmm. to Chimir. Mm -hmm. We'll just explain that he killed our mom and yeah. ta tell that to the Jedi. Like they're going to turn themselves over, I guess. Right. And she's like, they'll have to. And then the stranger yeah. says, even after everything, uh, you put your faith in the Jedi. Yeah. So one moment ago, she was still going to go with the Jedi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. so abrupt that. Yeah. And then uh, Osha, when they find out how powerful you are and it's um, that you will meet the same fate as our mother, it just feels it just feels like not enough. It just yeah. doesn't feel like enough to convince yeah. somebody that they need to go complete. Because walking in here, she said, like, no, I'm not going to. Like, no. he says, well, yeah. you know, will you train with me? And she's like, no, absolutely not. And then yeah. so you find out that Soul has caused all these issues and he's wronged you in so many different ways or yeah. killed your mom, all these secrets and stuff. And then they're basically like, you know, the Jedi are the Jedi are evil. The Jedi are bad. Right. right? And you can't trust them. Uh, and then you're so strong that they're going to, is that believable that you're so strong that they're going to what kill you that the, the, the Jedi execute people like this? No. That's the thing that is yeah. not believable, I guess, is that, but Chimere makes the, her believe that because soul has done it. Right. Because, because soul says, you know, when she's like, you know, you killed her and he's like, yes, I did. And he's trying to explain himself. Um, as to why it was an accident and all this different stuff and blah, blah, blah. So it's just, it's just strange. It's, it's There's, like, why is May still trying to. She, by, by the way, Osha just says, let my sister go and I'll train with you. You didn't even ask your sister if she wanted to go. 
There was no, like you said, there's little explanation of why they had to go separate ways in that section. Yeah, and why is her sister trapped? She, her sister made this original bargain with him. Yeah. And they never really clarify the fact that, like, he's done with her or whatever. Yeah. That's actually what the Sith do is they betray each other. Yeah. I mean, there's so many times where, where Vader, like, you know, Sidious senses that, like, Vader is wanting to, oh, like, usurp him or or take over and yeah. fights him and then the dark lord bats him down he's like that a boy vader get back up you know <sighs> you're still you're still my apprentice right but you got that fight in you all yeah. right and in this it's like wouldn't he think the same same of may like well he for being i don't know he doesn't fully identify as a sith does he well he does say that you know you would call me a, a sith and he is he just doesn't like the name or i don't know that i think that's just all this wordplay that they were trying to dance around the fact okay. that he's a Sith. Okay. He knows he's a Sith apprentice. Yeah. He flat out knows it. He flat out knows that he's serving Darth Plagueis. Yeah. And so why he says that is just is just to be cheeky and and the delivery of these um to keep people guessing. So yeah. And then Osha turns back and says, Yeah, what do we do? And uh she's she's saying this to May. And then uh May says, What do you want, Osha? Mm -hmm. What do you want? And so this is where, like you said, she'll turn back and, and she'll turn back to Chimere and uh, she will say, here you go. I think it's exactly what you said. Boy, the delivery of this is something. Um, let my sister go. Yeah. And I will train with you. That's what she wants. Yeah. So that's what she wants. I want to train with you. Let my sister go. Guys, I'm sorry. It's probably the worst episode we've ever done because I'm sitting here still just trying <laughs> to figure out what the heck actually went down. This is yeah. such a raw reaction. And normally that's not the case. Normally, huh. I mean you can t you can you know what's going on in ahsoka you were most of the time oh yeah able to tell me theories can well, he, okay that's a good point because just, actually just, in those shows mm -hmm. a lot of times the like the job of those uh, it's a it's not to make everything a mystery box if right. everything's a mystery box and you don't understand it no one can follow it mm -hmm. and it's so, so confusing that people are like i don't even care i don't even care they don't yeah. even get it but when there's enough breadcrumbs to make connections or there's enough foreshadowing like when there's clever um things like like early on that lead us to this right. final point then it, yeah, it feels rewarding because right. you like discover that yeah you don't want to make your yeah you don't want to make the audience feel dumb right like, yeah I, well i mean don't... yeah you, you want them to be enjoying this right. experience and you want you them to be like about like oh my god i figured that out or yeah. i i know where this is going or i know why this is happening but instead naturally i'm just being mm -hmm. honest coming out of this i have so many questions and i'm just yeah. i'm actually trying to figure out from the perspective of like Osha and May and like, why are they doing what they are doing? Mm -hmm. And I'm still super confused because you've thrown this, thrown me for a loop and that they're the same person yeah. and they're split into two different bodies. And so I'm like wondering how that affects them. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm trying to figure and out what exactly did that? Like what kind of power did they use to do that? Right. Or exactly. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Was um, it just the virgin version? Virgins. Yeah. Yeah. That way like, her how mother, did they use it. Yeah. <laughs> you and know the other thing too the, the, yeah. the other thing that's interesting is that and i this is this is great in the article that i was referencing i'll see if i can find a link to the article and, and some people have been talking about it uh Lisa Hedlund, i think she says there's something to the effect of like she's not she questions sort of whether mother anisea actually did create the twins and she did she i think she even sort of asked like and i have to go check i'm just yeah. off the cuff here i don't remember exactly but it seemed like she wanted there to be some mystery still around that and everyone's like well, wait a second didn't mother gonna say just actually say i created them yeah so she both created of them, them. Both of the yeah mothers. mother coral carried coral, yeah. them right yeah. and then and then anisea created them um and they're they've taken one consciousness and they've split it into two different bodies yeah so who knows anyway and there's also the question why did they even do that you know what was the purpose of splitting them into two why did right. they need or want two Dunno. because of the power of two <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> it's like yeah what is the point of the coven and how are they just mm -hmm. the future were they going to do this again were they right the other question children? was children or why haven't they why didn't they just create more or what's the right and there was some sort of um they were disappointed that osha was going to leave because they felt like they needed osha right she, she was, was the, the future. future just like may but may still there so why couldn't they let osha go they were all afraid of her leaving the it, and other things that i find hard hard to believe you know when anisea is like turning to soul and saying um i was gonna let her go 
None yeah. of us thought that was the case, actually. Even though we heard her say, I choose motherhood, right? Yeah. And I'm defying you other witches, and I'm going to let my daughter go and do what she wants to do. Um, then when they show up and Quirrell's right there, Quirrell, I mean, Mother Quirrell, it sounds like I'm saying Professor Quirrell. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble <laughs> like, like wrapping my uh, your mind around it. But um, <laughs> Mother Quirrell, <laughs> Professor Quirrell, You're Mother rapping Quirrell, I'm uh, wrapping my, around. yeah, my whatever. Okay. <laughs> It seems like she is kind of like over my dead body. Yeah. You're, they're not taking my my girls, right. not one of them. And so they yeah. would have duked it out. And so, <laughs> so like if your soul coming in reading the room and you see them, yeah. you've already seen them attack your Padawan. You're on guard or, you know, uh, Indara's Padawan being Torben. Uh, and she, you she clearly sense that they're hostile. Yeah. And then I know she was like going to protect her daughter by going into vapor and and everything. Um but it was just, it's just a hard sell. I guess it's yeah. like, it's confusing to the characters. They're making so many mistakes and they have so much, um, there's so many misunderstandings by characters in the story that mm -hmm. I'm misunderstanding yeah. some, some stuff, right? Yeah. If that makes sense, <laughs> I, I'm misunderstanding some, some things. And I need to go back and watch it again. There's probably yeah. a lot of nuance to it and there's different things that I'm not catching and that's okay. Call me a dummy. It's fine. Uh, I'll just go back and no, have to watch not. it again and, and figure it out. But I don't know. All my favorite characters died. And <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I like that the, the, they're all dead. And yeah. The ones who are left are not very nice. Right. And they're not very good. So. Yeah. You, like you said, you're not left with a good feeling at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So or like a moment where like, wow, that's I can't believe that happened. Or like, yeah, wow, it, that's so cool. Yeah. And it's like you've basically turned the people who were the good guys of the story into the bad guys. Yeah. And. You know, it's just it's hard because I guess and you can do that. You can yeah. do you can tell that story. Mm -hmm. But the way it was just so hard to follow and the way the the yeah. reason behind it is just not strong enough. Right. 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 Do, do you know why? OK, let me give you an example here. Do you know why Boromir is such a great character in Lord of the Rings? He is doing everything with the best intentions like Master Soul. He's doing yeah. his best. He's his darndest. He's trying. He when he takes the ring from Frodo, oh, he so regrets it. Yeah. And you can feel it. Yeah, I guess it's just conveyed very well. And he yeah. wants to apologize. And so he's blowing the horn. Doo -doo -doo -doo, right. And yeah. it's just like he's leading them away. He has yeah. one last effort to like, let me do what I can do yeah. to sacrifice myself, even though I'm the Boromir of the group and I've messed up and I've tried to take yeah. the ring. I'm going to call all of them to me right. and do one last great service in, yeah. in, fellow, in the fellowship of the ring. Yeah. Right. And so then Frodo and Sam can get away. You're, you're hoping Master Soul will say that that he's sorry more mm -hmm. or that there's there's a chance for him to kind of do that, to be yeah. a Boromir in this show. And there's just not. Yeah. He just believes that he what, what he did was right. And he's he's, I don't know, misguided. And there's mm -hmm. just, I don't know. It's just tragic. It's just really. I Yeah, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss for words. So, yeah. um Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm probably come back, and I think uh, I'm going to reach out to to Matt and maybe some of their folks and see if I can have another watch of this and rewatch the whole yeah. thing. And maybe I'll come back with some some better bits. The problem is that you come out of an episode and you're like, okay, last episode I wasn't. It didn't land. It didn't land for me last episode, and then this episode, two episodes ago, or whatever that was. Episode this is eight, so seven, six. Episode yeah. six was all right. It was all right. Interesting, yeah. and you yeah. were okay with even some of the stuff from yeah, uh, actually the. Sorry, yeah, yeah. no, from the from the Chimere naked scene, you know, you were uh, not, not not into, but like that was the episode that you enjoyed because it was better, you know, it was just like, or whatever. I thought the setup now is cool, not the and nakedness, I was... but just the <laughs> just the like, fact that yeah, I was really in like more intrigued to see okay, where is this going now? Yeah, and then I just didn't like the wrap up, the roundup, the yeah. ending of it, like how right it all right. turned. Turn out to turned be. out yeah. yeah and that was actually the episode before the flashback the flashback mm -hmm. just you know again you it's a lot of ping-ponging back and forth too so you go back to that flashback you're like well this really sucks because the jedi just i don't know they didn't they didn't do anything good they they literally made bad choice after bad choice it's just, it's just full of watching people make bad choices mm -hmm. you know the whole show is just everybody making bad choices yeah right am i wrong i mean like soul's making a bad choice there and and He's the only one who seems like he's. I mean, they, they kind of try to say, "Well, we have good intentions here," and you're just like, "Yeah." Master and Dara's decision just to like spare this child so that way we we raise right. this child with a good memory of her family and everything like that is a joke. It is. That's a joke. That's not something a Jedi Master would no. say or do. Sorry, I, I I can't. I 
I can't get around that. I yeah. Um, and I know people will say, well, what about Obi Wan when he was trying to spare Luke and his feelings and different things or whatever? I, it's different. I, it's different. I don't know. It just feels totally different. And it's yeah, man. It's I don't know. I don't know. I gotta wrap my head around it more. Yeah. So yeah. Sorry, guys. For the most <laughs> downer episodes I've ever done in my life. So, oh well. If you guys have stuff, hey, I gotta say, we had some really great comments on the on the last um on, on the last podcast that we yeah. did. And I, that's I think why I feel so bad is I'm like I don't really know what to pull out of this and what yeah. to say is cool. Look, interesting that Yoda is there, and they're gonna inform him that how um, cute were his ears? His ears are cute. I love I love Yoda. Yes, I'm Absolutely. listening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh he yeah they kind of perked up didn't they yeah right? you know <laughs> and vanessa's like we need to talk and so what is she gonna say is she gonna lie to yoda or is she gonna tell him the truth that'll mm -hmm. be the big question from from here on out and then um you know the rest of it is i i guess semi wrapped up and uh it's just yeah it's done it's over folks it's all over chimer is still the apprentice and he has his acolyte he's got right. osha and may is doesn't remember anything since she was eight years old. Uh, yep. So we're but good she's there. She's going to help Vernus her now to Somehow. find Chimere. Somehow. Yep. Right. She'd probably go through her mind and the Jedi will meditate around her, hopefully, <laughs> and figure out who he is and where he's at. And they'll go, they'll go kill him, which sets up another problem, which is that they all then know that the Sith yeah. exists. And it's this big, dirty secret that yeah. they, and, and again, I, let me, one last thing I'll say. Yeah. Because I think maybe to help folks understand, because you're brand new coming to this acolyte show and this is your entry point to star wars i'm really sorry i i I'm not, i don't mean sorry because it's a bad show i mean i'm sorry that if you're listening to me if you're hearing my voice and you're hearing <laughs> us talk about this I, hopefully you've gone and heard other people who are having just a great time yeah, yeah sorry, sorry. like bobs all over the place <laughs> um who are going and having a great time and and maybe you know you're bonding and connecting with those people that's great i'm yeah. all for that i think when you listen to people like myself or people who are of my age and who have grown up with different um different star wars it is important to kind of remember that what we think about it is a little bit different and that's okay. It's because yeah. of what we, what we believe to be established lore and Canon is, is that it's just established. And so yeah. there's no changing it. So yeah. when we watched episode one in our minds, the Jedi did not know mm -hmm. about the Sith. Like none of them knew about it. And, and it's interesting that Yoda does mention the rule of two at the end and, you're like, well, right. how did he know about that? Right. Is there some lore on that? There's some Sith holocrons that he was studying, you know, back in the day. And that's that's the case. But it's like they truly believe for three, four, five, six, seven thousand years that they've been, uh, you know, e e extinct. And I'm in yeah. hundreds there leading up to the thousand. Sorry. Uh, but so they truly in their minds in episode one, that is how they see. That, that that's just it's established it just feels that way to us and so when another show comes in and changes the way that we perceived episode one yeah it doesn't feel right it's sort of mm -hmm. like wait a second so now you're telling me that what i have known for years and believed and thought is actually not true well plus does that make, does the that make original sense? creator of that movie yeah did not write this show right right so it's almost like you're going in and and trying and really trying to change what actual characters were thinking in that moment yeah. because because now it does really feel like Kiati Mundi if the Senate can figure out stuff when the Jedi are trying to keep it a secret mm -hmm. it just feels like the other Jedi and the rumors are going to spread and I don't think they're that good at keeping secrets and they're all clearly lying and there's yeah. it seems like there's a lot of deceit and stuff happening right inside of the Jedi uh order and so you're sort of like well okay then wouldn't it, it it, it's not believable then that they cover this all up and nobody knows about it, especially right. when Yoda and Kiati are like right there talking about this very topic and being informed yeah. on it and being close enough that their suspicions would be raised and their abilities with the force would sort of like amp, like they'd be in tune to it and start to kind of wonder if there's not more going on. So anyway, the show is basically telling us that they, that there were some suspicions that there were some things uh, even though Vanessa's come back and said, soul did it all. It's all, we're going to all lay it down at his feet. That doesn't smell right by Kiati Mundi and those guys right there in the yeah. room with soul. Yeah. Soul was like trying to talk to them about may and let me bring her in. And I can, I can do this, etc. And yeah. I feel like it's a hard sell for her to come back and say, Hey, we got there. And he just was, well, he had killed himself. And right. well, what happened? I burnt the body. Okay. I mean, read Vanessa's like vibe yeah. and just her, her emotions and uh, something's off. Something's wrong. 
and the forest will tell them things. And how can they all be that blind yeah. to it? Um, it, it? Yeah, it's it's almost it's it's like the Sith are not even manipulating the Jedi. The Jedi are manipulating the Jedi. <laughs> maybe that's what it's trying to tell us. Maybe maybe Vanessa's a Sith Lord, like everybody's saying. They're all <laughs> saying she might be a freaking Sith. So who knows? Anyway, um, I think that's the thing is that like when we watch that show or that movie, we we thought a certain way. We really mm -hmm. believed that those characters didn't know anything about this, all this stuff. And so yeah. now now they clearly should have. And now I'm offended that they lied to Qui-Gon. It didn't say, you know what, Qui-Gon? Yeah. <laughs> You're on to something. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's possible. <laughs> OK, instead, it instead, they actually said the exact impossible. They say it's impossible how can they say it's impossible right. when this is going on? It, it now makes us think that those characters are all liars, just like yeah. these characters. And that's hard to swallow, yeah. I yeah. guess. So anyway, all right, I'm done. No, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm done. I get it. So I do hope people enjoyed it and I, and I will come back and try to um, find the good. And I'm going to weed back through this and actually look at things and, uh, and, and really watch it again. Because the first time I watched the rewatch, the first and second episode, I, I liked it a lot more. And I yeah, thought maybe we understand more. Yeah. It mm -hmm. felt more natural and it kind of yeah. grew on me and it was okay. I was watching some of the stuff with um, the originals and the prequels and there's quirky moments, there's clunky moments in that mm -hmm. stuff too. Yeah. And you have to kind of get beyond it and figure out what it is that they're trying to say. So, right. Yeah. All right. I'm done. I'm sorry, guys went on that long and just ranted about it. And again, sorry to be a Debbie downer, but uh, well, Real quick. I, yeah, just had to say what, you know, right. I was feeling what's coming up next. Like after after this, we have yeah. some okay. more young Jedi, you know, the kids show and then Star yeah. Wars skeleton crew. Skeleton crew. Yeah. Skeleton it's coming crew. out this coming year. Out. Yeah. This uh, Christmas, I think. I think it's coming out. So I think that goes yeah. back to the Ahsoka sort of story. Oh, cool. I think it's sort of integrated into the Mando Mando verse, if you will. That's cool. Which is interesting. Yeah. So that's going to be that's going to be fun. And that is a good point. Like. You know, there are so many other projects coming and there's th there's things that will that will yes. work better than other things or there's different audiences for different people. Right. And so I just want to say, keep that in mind. Yeah. You know, some people love the Book of Boba Fett and some people are like, this show is <laughs> just not good. And I actually love the actor and I want I love the character Boba Fett. I hope they do another Book of Boba Fett just to redeem the first one and let uh, Tamora yeah. Morrison do more in it. Yeah, I I hope that you know if there's an acolyte season two, I hope they make they correct a lot of stuff and it makes they it could. more yeah. intriguing. It Hear gets the better. Feedback and All right, because I mean, uh, New Hope it actually great movie. Got every, it's the original. It starts everything. It's you think well, you can't get much better than that. And then Empire Strikes Back actually outdoes it. But it's a part of it. They're all connected and they built on each other because they're part of that trilogy. Yeah. So this is a story. Um, a thread, if you will, in the store in, in the Star Wars store, a thread. Get it? Like power of the thread. Yeah. Sorry. Um, it's trying to make a joke. <laughs> and it's it's it needs more threads. So if they do do a season two, totally yeah. fine. And people are like, oh my God, let them do another season of it. They're gonna have to cast a whole new brand new group of people because they're all dead. Everybody's right. dead in this. So it's gonna be like Mog right. will be back and maybe right. the sniffer will be back. Um, I don't really know, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be a small cast moving forward. Well. Yeah. But right, I mean, that's the other thing. It's like yeah. it's a whole new cast of people that well, you you, have the in season two, or you have the one actress who plays Osha May, right? It's or yeah, Vanestra just a smaller and, cast, yeah. yeah but kind of anyway, weird. um, so yeah, there, there is good Star Wars to get back to, as Lottie's right. kind of saying. There's there's other great shows and projects coming, uh, to look forward to, and again, and or I'm, season two, sorry, and or season early two, early 25, Thank you. yeah, mm -hmm. that's coming 25, yeah. Uh, so lots to look forward to, and I'm excited for Star Wars, always have yeah. been, always will be. And I'm always gonna watch whatever it is, and yeah. I always want to know, you know, what what they're what, what they're uh, yeah. yeah, what's what's happening, looking for cool connections and building on the lore. You know, I've always said, I make the joke that my head is big enough to keep both canon and legends <laughs> in it, okay? And I, I can guess. always go back to the stories that I reading love the and books is also yeah, like you said, love it, awesome. love reading them. Yeah, the bits and pieces that I heard from the book that plays right before the Phantom Menace. Yes, yes, a that living was so force. So fun, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it had all the Jedi Masters in yes. it. It had it had all the different Masters. They go on a little quest, and and it was um yeah it was it was great. Sometimes you don't need a whole different setting, timeline, characters. You just yeah. need more from the characters we already have. Yeah, true. And again, I you know some people love that, and some people are kind of like, don't touch the thing that I. It's already perfect. Don't yeah. do any more Darth Vader stuff. You know, don't, don't ruin okay, the yeah, character. Yeah, I get that too. You so there's that there's that side. Yeah. So you can't win sometimes yeah, in Star Wars. Is, the, is what people get frustrated with. Uh, but again, I'm like you. I, I like to see more of that. Give me more. Yeah. You know, let's let's go ahead and do that. And I do hope 
I've always thought that the future of Star Wars is literally in the future. Yeah. I've always felt like yeah. I know the Skywalker past, saga wasn't yeah. great and there were some fumbles and stuff like that. And and they've clearly admitted that JJ Abrams came out and say, clearly we need to plan this out better. And I I know that they pushed the Ray movie back a little bit because they mm -hmm. need the writing to be good. If you're gonna do a trilogy, you need to know what the end is. You really do. Yeah. You need to start writing towards and foreshadowing and and be guaranteed three movies and go make your three movies and make them awesome. Like we need to do that because that that will keep people around and invested in the franchise and and everything. And I I, I want more of that versus just like, oh, we're going to give you one season. We'll see how it is. And then maybe we'll bounce away from it. It's like, yeah. no, just go tell a story. Go tell your story. Make it good. And and then like I don't like that, that people kind of have to um, I don't know that they have to kind of compete to tell arcs inside of this this story it's like just right. why you have the money to push all these different projects in different ways that you want to if you need two two to three seasons to tell the acolyte give them two to three seasons and go ahead and do it don't yeah. don't look at the just move forward do it people will watch it it's fine and then we'll all look at it at the end and say right. what was that like and i feel like we've you know i mean they are kind of with with the Mandalorian, they did. They went ahead and yeah. did their seasons. Book of Boba Fett. Not sure if they're going to come back to that. Maybe that story is over. I don't know. But they've started to tell some story inside of the gap between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens, and then they're just it's still going right the, yeah. with the Ahsoka stuff. I'm moving up to Dave Filoni's movie, but I don't know if it's going to continue or how much more they're going to do. So, all right, guys, start down. Lottie is uh, full. <laughs> <laughs> for yawning so uh it is past our bedtime way past it and i've just been yammering over here and not making a lot of sense so um thanks guys we appreciate you it's been a good time uh good ride here for the acolyte interesting lots of cool stuff i'm gonna go make a how powerful is master soul how powerful <laughs> is 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 uh darth chimere right. we don't know his name the stranger i'm gonna call him darth chimere until yeah. until we change it <laughs> uh and uh make some fun some fun videos and lore stuff and we'll we'll talk more about it we'll keep talking about it we'll keep weaving it back into the conversation now because it is here and uh, again there was good acting good lightsaber stuff and uh there were some good moments and there were some bad moments just to be real yeah so with that i uh, appreciate you guys and as always may the force be, be with, with you. you it's over commander did you hear that Don't underestimate the force. Dun 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 dun. Probably the craziest episode we've done. I don't know what to say about it. Yeah. I, I really don't. I mean, I'm trying. Let's listen.